Hirundines, which consist of swallow, house martin and sand martin, are frequently confused with each other. Another unrelated species, the swift, is also included in this guide, as it is often mistaken for the others as well. All of these species are summer migrants, with sand martin usually the first to arrive, sometimes with individuals as early as February. The latest to arrive is swift. Indeed, this is one of the last returning of all our summer migrants, with the first individuals appearing in late April, but large numbers not arriving until May. All of these species are superbly adapted to life on the wing, with long, narrow wings attached to cigar-shaped aerodynamic bodies. All are also most often seen in flight, which can lead to identification confusion, as plumage details, so obvious in field guides, cannot be seen. So, what do we need to look for to enable us to make a confident ID of a flying hirundine or swift? The key features are a combination of shape and jizz, and the distribution of white and dark markings. Let's start with swallow, a common and familiar species found right across Britain and Ireland. Swallows are very handsome birds, and illustrations show the key features to be the bluish back, red face, and of course those long forked tail streamers. In reality, swallow usually appears black and white in flight, although usually the long tail streamers are visible. But be aware, swallow can often hold its two streamers close together. Flight is fast and powerful, with the birds habitually swooping low after insects, when the rowing wing beats are obvious. If the streamers are not obvious, females and especially young birds can be surprisingly short-tailed, then the most obvious thing to look for is the wholly dark upper side, contrasting with the white underside, with, most importantly in all plumages, a dark head and throat. When feeding, swallows usually call with a quiet, pleasant chip-chip or quip, uttered singly or repeated with long intervals. When upset, for instance, if a predator or rival is spotted, a harsh twizik call is heard. This can sound surprisingly like a pied wagtail. This is also the species that is most likely to be encountered perched in spring and summer, habitually on telegraph wires, and then its sweet chattering song can be heard, reminding me of the chattering of budgies. House Martin also presents, initially, the same black above and white below impression, but with two major and definitive differences. The first is a clear and obvious white rump above, and secondly a white head and throat below. In jizz, House Martin appears more fluttery and less elegant than swallow, with broader based wings, barrel chest and short forked tail, an altogether dumpier bird. House Martins rarely swoop like swallows, but tend to flutter around, higher up, often circling, and characteristically gliding for short periods, sometimes whilst rocking from side to side. House martin are noisy little birds, incessantly chattering and muttering, and they very frequently give an utterly distinctive dry little raspberry or rattle. Sand martin are slightly smaller again, although they are more streamlined than house martin, meaning that they actually tend to not look as small and dumpy. Like the previous two species, sand martin occur over the whole of Britain and Ireland, but are much more patchily distributed. Although similar to house martin, the brown coloration can often be picked out in flight, clinching the ID. Sand martin appear slightly more confident and less fluttery in flight, and rarely glide. Finding nests of sand martin will also confirm ID, because rather than building their nests inside of buildings like swallows or outside of buildings and cliffs like house martin, sand martins nest in colonies dug into sandy banks, usually near water. If the brown colour cannot be seen, then the key features in this species are the lack of a white rump and a white throat with a clear dark breast band. All three of these species can sometimes be seen together, perching on wires, before beginning their migrations in the autumn. This brings us to swift, our final species, and one you will never see perching on a telegraph wire. Swifts are somewhat bigger birds, with much longer wings. Swifts are the ultimate aerial masters, even able to mate and sleep on the wing. The body is barrel fronted and tapers to the rear with extremely long, narrow based wings. Due to the bend of the wing being so close to the body, flight appears very stiff winged. 
Wings are curved back, giving the whole bird a distinctive shape, variously described as sickle, scythe or anchor shaped. Wing beats are incredibly fast and flickering, and birds glide on stiff wings for long periods, often extremely fast, although birds passing over can appear more relaxed. Swifts are often found in urban areas where they frequently breed, and here they are extremely noisy. It is swifts that you hear screaming above our towns and cities, and in the evenings, groups career around, making an astonishing amount of noise. If size, jizz, habitat and voice is not enough to help you identify swift, the other key plumage feature is that this is the only one of these species to be dark underneath. The whole bird is a dark brown above, although this can appear paler in strong sunlight. So, to recap the key features of each of these four species is Swallow, swooping flight, long tail streamers, dark above, pale below, dark head and throat, House Martin, dumpy and fluttery, dark above, white below, with a white rump, Sand Martin, colonial nester, dark above, white below, with a dark chest band, and finally Swift, large with a distinctive shape, screaming calls and dark all over. Confidence and familiarity in identifying these four species is needed in order to look for rarer species such as red rump swallow and alpine swift.